Well, 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 hello! Hi, how's it going? I hope you're having a good Saturday. We made it to the weekend, chat. We made it to the weekend. VOD watchers, thank you for watching this VOD. Um, people who are watching live, welcome. I hope you're having a good time. So, here's a fun thing. Um, I thought in my uh, plans for streaming this week, Crab Championships comes out today. I don't know if it's technically out yet. And then I said, oh, you know what I'm in the mood for? I'm in the mood for playing uh, Truck Driving Simulator, or the American Truck Sim. And then I thought, saw a post from the Sega account announcing that they were going to do something. And I thought to myself, oh, it's April Fool's Day. You know, Sega's, Sega's Twitter is pretty clever. Um, you know, they, they usually do silly stuff for, for April Fool's Day. I'm like, oh, all right, we'll see what it's going to be. Well, I, I found what it's going to be. Um, and it's this. That that's not working. Oh, good. Hey, are you, are you gonna capture? There it is. It is the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is not the right music for this. Hey, Stone, how's it going, man? How you doing? So for April Fool's Day, we're gonna play the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> So let's let's turn down this music and we'll go ahead and stop that and put up the game music. So this is this is a visual novel. Uh, so you'll have to excuse me as I move Tibbleton and I around because uh, you're at work. Oh, that's sorry to hear that stone. That sucks. But you can listen along. So that's, that's at least something. Uh, so let me do this. Let's, let's start the game and I'll see if I need to move myself and my pal Tibble. Oh, that's right. Tibble's over here. Uh, if I need to move Mr. Tibble. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Let's just get right into it. Oh yeah. That's going to be a problem. If that's where. text box is going to be. Let's put me a lot smaller. And I'm just going to put myself right here. It's kind of line me up with the uh, yeah. OK, and then Mr. Tibble. Tibble's also going to change your size and Tibble's going to go right above me. I think, oh man, there's so many windows I'm trying to not grab. Oh, and I did chat. I fixed. All right, this is I, I just want to grab Tibble. There we go. Um, I did. Tibble's going to hang out right here. OK, I did fix the blurbs chat and tangy is so now I can hear them. I really don't know what happened. Everything worked fine when I logged in. But in any case, here we go. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name is uh, Casual Reese. <laughs> I can write casual respawn. That's my name. I'm calling it right now the murderer's table. Look, look, you can't be giving away the game's secrets. OK, Stone, you got it. You got to Like my my bet is also Tibbled the whole time. It was Tibbled the whole time. Oh, saw my name here. Yep, I'm casual respawn. I don't think it should. I could show my face around here again if I wrote that. Let's try it again. What? Oh, it doesn't fit. All right. Fine. Uncle face. <laughs> Uncle face. Did I spell that right? Yes, I did. I mean, 
Right's very relative. Oh, it looks like I'm covering up the pictures just a little bit. Just remember, Tybalt, the real you is all but 10% not destroy. What? <laughs> That's not weird, Tybalt. That's not a weird thing to say. All right, let's let's pop. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm just going to move. I'm just going to move me right here and then Mr. Tybalt. Sorry, just getting this all situated. Okay, there we go. Whoa, look at this train. I'm in the dining car. <gasps> um, uh oh, am I nervous? It's the first day on the job. Is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this first day on the job jitters? Working on the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Oakface, shake it off! Slap! <laughs> Conductor. Uncle Face, did I just, uh, see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, ho, ho. quite alright to myself. Though feeling a bit, a little bittersweet. Uh, is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as Conductor. I'm retiring after uh, 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the uh, Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on your retirement, sir. That's very nice. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got a plane tickets to Spangonia locked. I don't know what that is. Our shower has been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working on the dining car. Here's a menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory at any time to view items I received. I should look it over the menu carefully. The Mirage Express dining menu it features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. <gasps> so fancy. He's totally the murderer. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, look, look at that. Look at that face. It's the face of a murderer. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a uh, little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, chicken ragu, crab ragoon, hell yeah. Spicy grilled pecky, no. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Okay, uh, chicken cordon bleu. Ding ding ding. Glad you can read the menu. Okay, for ha 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 ha. A little about the vessel. This is a state of the art high speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. The train is exclusively used for events, it is not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure paying guests are well taken care of. Understand. I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Barrage Express are opening. All aboard! Oh, my eyes. That's a cool train. People are getting on. It's Amy with a cupcake on her head. With candles. All right. Wow, this train is incredible. What a fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on the train like this. I'm going to be real honest with you. A lot of these ca characters are going to sound real similar. What did you ex all expect? You know, I always go out of my way for a birthday party. This train is as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. 
I swear to God, I had that exact conversation with my wife. Calm there. Calm down there, Rug. Um, did I just catch you stealing from the train uh, gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Use the voice changer. I've, I'm tempted, but that I should have set that all up ahead of time. <laughs> get a view hold of yourself, Uncle Face. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Yeah, of course, sir. Huh. Are you a pirate? Uh, no, I'm more Morris than I thought. Sonic! Oh, I guess I could do this one for Amy. Sonic! Oh, oh no. No, that's gonna be grating. Never mind. Never mind. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Heh, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Uncle Face, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to and we'll collect their ticket. <laughs> okay, I got it. Man, there's a lot of... What's up? Oh. Alright, what's this? Huh. That's fun. Okay. Hmm, yummy, don't mind if I do. Uncle Face, those are for our guests, you know. Train. Be sure Uncle Face only gets one of those if they ask. Arm says nothing. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a uh, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> uh, good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together for a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really good, too. All right, let's talk to... Okay, I can go. I see. Let's talk to Knuckles. Let's go left to right. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the cut doctor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. <clears throat> Conductor, can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. Jaded. Good lord. No way. I brought my own sparkle gel gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. It's not normal. The tra train conductor looks like he's ready to slaughter. Yeah, he kind of does, doesn't he? He kind of does. Let's talk to the blue blur. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When, Egg uh, when Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in and eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our trade, Sonic. Have fun now. Uh, yeah, yeah, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Espio. What is he wearing? Could you... could you... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking great, Abby. I study ninjutsu. I believe uh, one can communicate through the subconscious. I don't think that's how ninjutsu works, chat. I don't. I don't think that's it. Wow, wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. 
Can, can you cling to onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Vector. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He, he seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is this something amiss, sir? I, I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's, he's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't worry, we took a look around. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eye peels for this ticket. Ticket. Amy. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. Well, <clears throat> that's the wrong voice. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday dis <clears throat> the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't look of a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good train cry a true crime. Blah. Blah. I'm a girl who loves a good, true crime podcast. Maybe we should just leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? <clears throat> that unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's a practically tradition. Very well. Very useful, rather. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. All right. And moving on over. Shadow. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we could do to help you? Do you, do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic gross bag in the back. I could get it for you. That stare. Brr. So cold. Uncle Face, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? Eh, no. No, I'm good. Please! May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Prin princess? Did she say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here, just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back in my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, oh well, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What do, what are you doing? Please get up. Why can't I not win with this group? And Rouge. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Oh, that was definitely Rouge, not the conductor. My bad. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Oh, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Can I, gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> oh, this was yours? I must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Okay, isn't that everybody? I'm pretty sure. Uh. Oh, here's the ticket. What is it sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for the ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to inventory. Hey, Vector! You find anything yet? We, uh, well, we just may have found what you need. Uncle Face, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? I got a ticket! Oh, there it is, my ticket. Thanks very much, you both. 
I was really worried you kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. Oh, Uncle Face here would have their hands full kicking you out. <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait, are they both microwave expert? Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Uh, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles in the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare for the driver's compartment for departure. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train. Assist Uncle Face if they need any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear. You, you have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else... A guy's text message, I'm sorry. For everything else, please talk to Uncle Face here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Well, will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be some details in their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people wouldn't know that murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For, th for the <laughs> murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered. And the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters. They will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Huh. Of course. <clears throat> Boy. <laughs> birthday girl's <laughs> birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are ship captain. And you're stationed in, in the conductor car. And naturally, that's where the captain will go. Tails, you're the detective. You will be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Huh. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> Rouge. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> Stupid. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher and SPO the poet. Both found in the library. Hear that, SPO? We get to hang out together. And what do you read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. Well, why is Amy in charge of this if it's her birthday? I Look, Stone, I don't know. We're just going to figure out who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. That's the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> Last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with that everyone. officer whoever outfit looks like the electric brass knuckle. What? Yeah, it's a good point. It's good. It's a good point. Uh, you got their stone. Let's not look deep too deep into logic, shall we? <laughs> um, did you get all that? Yes. I was listening in. Hope that's OK. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, my Lord. That's a that's a that's a map. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient map added to the inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill quotes a single participant. However, they choose, but you must be physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their things. Everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stages!
Okay, so if I'm gonna give my voice a break And we're gonna do a quick ad break because that's gonna happen in about 10 seconds So I'm gonna push that now. We're gonna run a quick ad break and then when the ads are done, we'll keep on going This is this is so bizarre <laughs> <laughs> you know, and while the ads are running, I want to see just in case if uh, the crab game is actually out yet. And I'm going to blow my nose because, you know, that's the thing I need to do. Hit. <laughs> All right, let's see here uh, Coming soon. Yep doesn't say Exactly that it's not out yet It's supposed to be in less than an hour, so I guess it probably goes live at noon so at noon I'm gonna I'm gonna download it at noon chat I'm gonna Download this at noon All right 25 seconds Oh, by the way, so here's a fun fact. Um, I this week had to buy new parts for my uh, my my mic here. It's actually for the stand. These rubber bands. So here's here's the new ones I got. Right, you can kind of see the like. It's just it's a nice. This is a nice elastic band. It's brand new. So it, this is what helps the mic itself like not bounce into anything. Well, my, uh, my old, the ones that came with the mic. So I got this mic a while ago. Here's what the old ones look like. If you can see it, there's actually like divots. This thing has gotten so stretched out from all the, like just the time set there. You can see where the notches are for, uh, where it was sitting on the mic conductors. Like it just was so bad. I had to repeat. I've replaced these right before stream today. These aren't even elastic. I just broke it. I literally just broke it. Just trying to pull on it to see how elastic it was. It's not elastic. <laughs> not anymore. Ooh. All right. Let's get back to the story. I'm going to use that term loosely. <clears throat> oh, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. <laughs> Amy says, same. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be uh, out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Amy's the murderer. It's Amy. Amy's the murderer. Calling it right now. Calling it now. I was thinking about putting a poll up, but Stone is just me and you, so <laughs> currently live. <laughs> uh, well, actually, the uh, can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scooping the place. <laughs> this way, there's always. Uh, I guess what I should give Tails a different voice. Uh, this way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mysteries anyway. Everyone is a murderer. Everyone. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what the character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. I guess that kind of answers your uh, question there, Stone. My backstory is that I was, uh, was best friends with the Flicky and decided to join the evil... What? Oh, okay. My backstory is that I was best friends with the Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. 
<laughs> My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. I mean, that's... That's a fair <laughs> path, I think. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck in the microwave duty. Oh, that's... that's bad. Right, where those are weird backstories. The train started moving. It's so fast. Grab onto something. What's going on? Hey, hey! Ah, I can't. Man, toys Tails' voice is messing with me. Hey, I'm slipping. Hold on! I can't. Ah. No. <laughs> that is what trains do. Whoa. Was it just supposed to be parked? Oh, you're both awake. Uh, yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. And we're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Uncle Face, can you get the door? No, of course. Uh, it seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give the fallen shelf a whack with you, with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh, let's find another. Uh, let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Uh, I suppose she did wake up before. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm going to need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting the, this way and interrogate her about it. Oh, good. The tutorial. Check out everything you can around the closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Conductor, I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understand? <clears throat> Understood. You can count me in, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. <laughs> Have it here, it. Now let's get searching. That is. Okay, I was about to say, am I blocking AV? <laughs> It's such a weird face. <laughs> Let's see. Trash can. Something's always hidden in the trash can. Let's check there. The Pokeball. There's a great ball in the SS and it's the first time you can get a great ball. It's in Vermilion City. You get on the SS and you go into the kitchen. It's the trash can in the bottom right hand corner. I remember that from fifth freaking grade. Okay. He in the 1990s, I remember that fact, but I can't remember freaking a thing I'm supposed to do yesterday. Time so to like, leave. here we go. Time to be stronger than the Ecto-1. Tibble, you can't be stronger than the Ecto-1. That's not a thing. She probably lost her hammer. Yeah, that's she probably misplaced it or forgot it or something. Sadly, <laughs> sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Uh, let's see. Boxes! <laughs> what do you think, Tails? You want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I no uh, normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've, I've only had a microwave lunches this week. That seems a little too close to home. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. 
Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. What else the thought that counts, I suppose? Alright, let's do the obvious. A shelf blocking our exit, and it's currently not budging. Hey, Uncle Face, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing on the, uh, the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is out the inventory. Amy, what's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon! This is going to be a really long game. <laughs> but if we find two more, we can take ourselves out. Take ourselves out on a train? <laughs> I'll keep look. Uh, talk. Find any clues yet? Okay, so it's going to be the same things. Let's start the interrogation. Oh, I was the wrong button. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Oh, you prick. Why don't we look around a little more around first? There's gotta be another way out of here. We gotta use a TP. There is literally... Oh. Uh, I definitely... Okay. Oh, there's something back there. What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. Uh -huh, hmm, uh -huh, hmm. The tip is broken. It looks like to have been originally attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but it keeps spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. We're all in the closet. She has to be able to hear this. <laughs> What's the latest? Hey, <laughs> Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Attempted to escape. I don't... That's like the obvious choice. I don't think you were sitting idly while Uncle Face and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. <laughs> Show me evidence I, uh, that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have the evidence to prove that? Uncle Face, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. The hammer probably broke. Yeah, it's it's definitely our hammer broke, but they got to teach us how to do it. Once that's been deduced, we must form an argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? <gasps> this. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have, you have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. All right, Tails. What right now? We need to follow this train in a thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain it? <sighs> well, you see, I, uh... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think, what would, so <laughs> what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He... Ob objection! <laughs> He always run around uh, for collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I probably have lots of those on my. I play lots of those on my phone. Ah, uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. 
Like Sonic would do. Oh god, I gotta think! Uncle Face's dream gear. What is happening? What? I have a thought! This is ridiculous. I love this Game Gear design. Sure, this shelf fell, but there's nothing around for that shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? <laughs> Gasp! Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Mm-hmm. Stick. <clears throat> Wait, is that a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Oh god, I gotta think again. I'm having a thought! You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer! Ick! This isn't a stick at all, is it? Don't wait, do I want to give Tails a Brooklyn accent? This is actually the handle to your pika pika hammer. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Amy! You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh, it's just both of you said I tried to get us out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal. I tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected you having a snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and as I dabble as a me and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of your hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back, bitches. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. <laughs> Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, jeez. This place is wrecked. Wait, is that? It can't be. <laughs> Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. Uh... What a world we're in. I'm exhausted already. It was really convincing, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. Wait, what are you saying? I don't understand. I just... just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic! 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 Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are those wounds on him genuine? My hands on his wrists. I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Uncle Face. 
What? What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood. Why do we keep re uh, playing the same thing? I'm not reading all this again. <laughs> hmm. I need to catch up to Amy and get to the bot and tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if it's just part of the game, I just can't risk it. I keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. It's dead, Jim. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Hog, 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 hog. <laughs> <laughs> it's the saloon car. Whoa, look at this place. Amy, you here? I've looked the ram and I don't see you. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems uh, she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> why, why is he laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing could actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't f shake the feeling or, I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder and mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I mean, bleh, I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Of course, now I, uh... Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. What? <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. This is the perfect place to kill Sonic. I don't disagree, Stone. If you ever catch me, I on that um, I put into the Discord the that there was the um that website that had like the the seven twenty like keys for Steam of random games. What was the one random game I got? I got Agatha Christie Hercule, Hercule Perot First Class, which is this like weird asymmetric mystery game. There's a couple weird games I got. That one always stuck out to me. I'm like, I would I consider it playing it on the channel at once. I also got a game called Devil's Kiss. Wait, I don't I don't know about that. <laughs> Again, these were all random keys, so I was like, I had no idea what I was going to get. Holy balls. Sorry, I just saw the April update for uh, Ghost Watchers, and it looks messed up. Oh, there's a new game, by the way, Stone, that I definitely want to get. Uh, I think it's called, like, it's Demon... Or, uh, crap, what was it called? I forget what it's called, but it's, it's something Demon... Or demonologist or something. It's supposed to be another horror game. It's like Phasmophobia. Uh, and the two clips I've seen on TikTok about it look amazing. So definitely want to play that. Uh, let's see. Tails. If you ever catch me looking glum though. Just know it's because. Uh, where's my Loru card? The last guy to work a case with me. Ditched our practice to join the Get evil Dr. AJ. I don't have enough. All my money goes to my wife and bills. And cats. And a couple games. Show it. It is a lot of fun. All right. Yeah, I definitely want to play that. I I think I need to, like, go to playing Ghostbusters maybe once a week. Or once a month, rather. Like, I really love the game, but there's so many games I want to play. Um, it's really <laughs> it's really hard to keep track of all these. Um, yeah, you joined Eggman. Nah, that's not a proper detective without some baggage. And this is true. Oh, I'm sorry. This is true. Ye varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy Mosey throw uh, and told me all about it. Cough. Enough of that. 
Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. We were wondering if you could tell us what uh, you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi. And nope. I have nothing to tell you either. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Uncle Face, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. All right, let's do it. Arcade. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Eh. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? Yeah, who could have done that? Who could have possibly done that, Tybalt? Can you pick? That's right. It was Knuckles. <laughs> what are you what are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade is added to my inventory. Trash. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's <laughs> sadly this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something's always been in hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. As they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> uh, I think Tails is ignoring me. Nuts! Ah, the pole of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh, kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. That's upsetting. What? Blech! Patooey! Or maybe they're just unsalted. Robot! The robotic arms here are really helpful. Arm. S glares. What? What's the arm doing to my hair? It fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What? What interesting tech. Nah, uh, I should fear for my job a little bit. Uh, yawning. How well can it microwave? Look at the lips. Uncle Face, this is interesting. What is? I just, uh, it's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are they there? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Oop, hold on. I'm going to text my a wife. I text wife. Wife text. Everyone, you know what? I'm going to play the ad break now as I text my wife. And then when the ad breaks are done, we'll continue. 90 seconds. Bang. Here they go. Here they come. Dun, 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 dun. Here's ads now. There's ads now. Gosh damn ads now. Okay. I just noticed she has both of you. My wife, um, she, we're talking about, she, um, she got an artist. She's been like following this artist for like, I want to say two and a half years. And she's been trying to get artwork done from her. Um, uh, <laughs> and the only thing you've said in a crouch is hilarious. I, I'm only sitting. I only sit. Um, and the artist did uh, an image for her, but she like missed a detail that's integral to it. So Brittany's trying to reach it back out to the artist to see if she can fix it. That's not right. That's luck. It is. It's hold on. You got to spell it right here. It's T Y B A L T. Tybalt. <laughs> that's how you spell it.
squat if you can get close enough to be extra geeky. What? What? I'm not gonna squat. This weird ghost. Uh, right. That text. All right, here we go. Back to the game. Uncle Face. This is uh, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> Someone else must have been here. We should log this. It's rouge. Used cups are added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Is there nothing over here? I don't know why I assume there's going to be a lot more room in a train car. Oh, look at this. Howdy, partners. Spittoon free establishment. Call CM Highway Zone. That's fun. Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I <laughs> never skip leg <like> day. <laughs> I'm just happy to be tra- Oh, I'm just traveling- Happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters. Though I find myself running on tracks more than do riding in the carts. I never understand this friend group. Friend group. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Please don't beat me up. All right, which one? First one to see in chat. Do I like his hat or do I ask not to be beat up? Sorry, just there we go. Hat. Okay. Wow, we got well we got we got two of the same thing. I like your hat. Hmm. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we uh, could see it better? I said leave. Uh, let's let's try to take his order. Hmm. Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know. Uh, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Uncle Face. You're not a but butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. All right. Let's let's interrogate him. Downloading bunches of them work Thanksgiving. Tibble's a weirdo. Hey, you have to show dominance when interrogating. Uh, Knuckles, Uncle Face and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Uh, is it? We have the evidence, too. We, we do? Uncle Face, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Women! <laughs> eh. Wrong choice, Uncle Face. Let's try again. What could have been distracted Knuckles? Okay, look, I feel like that's a much more likely scenario. This arcade machine? Heh. <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? I gotta think about it. What the hell? 
Wow, this got a lot harder very quickly. I like how it's like handwritten in. That's so funny. Uh, this isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... <laughs> the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Your hair was found at the scene. Hair? You, you mean... Uh, hair? You, you mean fur? Fur? Fur, you mean spines? Doesn't matter, of course. This seems like I'm wrong. And they're wrong here. Uh, the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Or that was knuckle. Sorry. What are you? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? Yes, I too pull up games in the middle of conversations to think. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Stone. When is did you finish working on the thing I sent you? Oh, yeah, hang on one second, boss. Yeah, I did. I did the thing. I got it. I finished it. <laughs> so, just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How? How will you? <clears throat> I'm on it, Uncle Face. <laughs> Dibbled. Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! Wait, what? I gotta think about how to distract Knuckles. Oh boy. I like how it's kind of inspired by um, so Sonic uh, 2's uh, Chaos Emerald thing, which by the way, I don't know if you guys saw my tweet. Um, if you follow our the, the casual respawn Twitter account, Sega announced they're doing a plus version of Sonic Origins, which is um, Sonic 1, 2, 3 and Knuckles and Sonic CD, um, which by the way is a big deal because we, you haven't been able to get Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, they haven't remade it or put it in any collections for like, I'm going to say at least 15 years. Like they just didn't do it. Um, and we all think it's partially to do with Michael Jackson and the music and they were, couldn't get the licensed music or whatever. So they actually made new music for Sonic Origins, which is it's worse. Whatever. But. Um. What's cool is they're making an update to it. So they're going to make it so that you can play Knuckles in Sonic 1, which you could technically do. A, I could grab the cartridge and do that myself right now. But they're also going to make Amy playable, I think, throughout all of the versions of the games, which is cool because that's another character to try and, uh, to play with. So like we're going to be playing through that. I think that's in like July that comes out, June or July. So that's going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to playing that anyway. The arcade, arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. <laughs> I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Vector. Vector beat him by one. Toast, apple, bread, alt, mm, bagel, candy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And... Uh oh. <laughs> My wife sent me a TikTok. <laughs> and frustration. Oh, I'm sorry. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Yeah. 
He's punching the ear in frustration. as me. You're guessing. What's your proof? Here's your evidence. Vector's a common name. Prove to me that he was here now. Uh oh. I gotta think real quick about it. I knew Dan was making an animation on the floor. I don't I don't think that's true, Tibble. <laughs> Woo. Oh no! I didn't make it. <laughs> you got nothing, Zilch Nada. Now you leave you two. Quick Uncle Face, let's try oh quick Uncle Face, try let's try it again. Yeah, right? Exactly, Rouge was there too. I always feel like I'm saying her name wrong. I don't think Dan animates either. He programs. Wait, doesn't he doesn't uh doesn't animate. Now, Uncle Face, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Glasses! No! I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup set next to you. Well, you were supposed to be here participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. I'm... Uh... It's not like... It's not... Uh... I, was, I don't don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. And when he bested me, I had to destroy the machine. No proof of his to uh of his to win. Uh, I was trying to figure uh, fix the arcade cabinet before you uh, two came in honest. I didn't want to be caught. That's my story and alibi. And I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy's friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains uh, one of the used cups. But what about the, the uh, cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. <gasps> Gasp! The only character who you wears lipstick! Who would have thought? What an... What a turn of events! <laughs> it's inc inconsequential, not worth mentioning. <laughs> Shock Pikachu. <laughs> that I wonder that has to be a Tangia. I'll be shocked if it's not. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of her game and left. Obnoxious that one. But you uh, offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Ve Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left, and then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? What? I want to step back uh, to something I noticed. One more name in a high score list doesn't make sense. Uncle Face, can you take a look one more time? An odd name. Uh, it's. Do I? Oh, here we go. Alt. Altum. All the other names have food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Altum? You may not know, Uncle Face, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. There's, there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, uh, does it, bud. Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I fought to beat Shadow's score. But they're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? It gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for every anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him so uh, no one else after locking the door. Saw no one else after locking the door. My bad. 
That's the honest truth. Now, the other honest truth is my wife texted me. So I'm going to quickly look at this text and uh, then uh, get back to the game. Give me one moment. All this going down while Sonic could actually be slowing, dying. Yeah, you, you know, you know how it is. So, so quick update. My wife's work has been very rough. So when she gets a break and actually can talk to me, I want to try to respond to her. And this game kind of lets me do that pretty easily. So just want to make sure she's she's feeling noticed and loved and all that. So. When Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? Uh, no, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though he asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask uh, them yourselves. You know what? That outfit's actually from uh, one of his games. I can't remember which one. Uh, is it Triple Trouble? That's funny. I didn't even think about that. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. All right, now. I believe your story, Knuckles. You only know for sure what, uh, when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an era. Earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Well, do, Sheriff. Come on, Uncle Face. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave being chili dogs. Uncle Face, coming. Ready to mosey on down to the next car? You got it. Onwards, what is that emote? Emote, haha, -ha, reindeer. <laughs> Love that. I really need to, to try to um, redo the emotes. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, she's hanging there. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump uh, what I don't need. So I mistyped it. It says haha, but looks shocked. Yeah, it really does. It looks, it has that shocked Pikachu vibe for sure. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on Link's scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? They're both too sweet, thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Well, let's ask her if she wants to join us to find the clues. Flattered, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. Oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. <laughs> like the answer. Tip is, uh, this tip is too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick! How are you gonna lead? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets to keep the birthday key. <laughs> of course, a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. 
Now, what do you two do it? Look, my suspicious eyes say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And, um, uh, just making sure things go well. Excuse me, I don't know where that yawn came from. Things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that, besides murder, uh, my social skills non existent. Feel that? Present. Absolutely here for that. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. That could be taken out of context. And I'm Espy of the Poet. Ah, poetry. A resident, uh, Resident message from poet to reader meant to challenge your delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh, teardrop. Oh, hold on, let's do this. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la, la la, dee dee, dee dee. What was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. <laughs> I'm uh I'm <laughs> I'm set aside for now, thanks. Two out of ten. Would not would not suggest again. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Uncle Face and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Uh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf, shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Where was Rouge? Uh, he, we happened to see your lipstick stain on the cup in the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. When she went to the search the saloon car, she came back shortly after. We heard her shout, "No way!" at the top, uh, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She obviously had been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing up at or showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling Oh, that's his vector. I got so engrossed by uh, rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. Oh, that's when the train sped up. I can't figure out what voice to give Vector, so I'm just gonna give him and Espio the same voice, because I can't. <laughs> I want to have a voice for later today. Ooh, wait, it is noon. Uh, let's see. Uh, I want to see if... Uh, let's check this. I just want to cycle this through again. Hey! Alright, give me a moment, chat. Just, uh... There we go. Okay. I now own crab champions so i'm thinking we'll play probably play this for another hour if we don't feel like we're near the end of the game 
I, I might just switch to Crab Champions because I've been really looking forward to that game. Anyway, uh, that's when we, uh, you know, I'll give him a lower voice. That's when we sped the train, or uh, the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. How much went on before the train sped? Uh, yeah, right? Like that, it seemed like it was instant to me, but what do I know? We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. I thought these locked doors it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return to you with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. Yeah. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems strong enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to convert Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. All right. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow. I really needed to see this. What? This little chow hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly safely, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There was no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Right? Let's let's minimize that window so I can actually see. There we go. Books. So many books on the ground. I wish I had time to pick them all up. I sadly had no interest in picking these books up. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for poor for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're open too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Sonic was supposed to be at the front of the train. He ended up in the last car. What? Wait, was he? Well, <laughs> I think you're right. Oh, yeah, he was supposed to be up front when the conductor car. Yeah, how did he get all the way in the back? Eh. Books. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books, but Sonic needs me. There's no time for rest. He's dead, Tails. All right, let's all right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the books, Tails, excitedly. He's like a kid in the candy shop, or in this case, a rich genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some uh, books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alph alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. It's a user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but that's interesting. Let's make note of this. Alright, that's added to inventory. A globe of a marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The uh, the islands are full, fun and all, but I'd like, love to visit some of the other... That is a gym in this chat. Yeah, I, I am finding Shadow's actions highly suspect. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people in shops. The food can't be beat either. Right? Sonic probably just wanted chili dogs. Ha, huh, sounds perfect for vacation. The conductor was talking about uh, Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have actually. Oh, I have actually. If you're ever uh, visiting, be sure to stop by the university and si say hi to Professor Pickle. I'll tell you everything about the area and he makes one scrumptious sandwich. Uh, I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Oh, poor thing. 
That arm is really struggling to keep clean up this ar car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and let it do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Table. Uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. Oh god, there's gonna be ads! Let the ads begin! We'll be right back after the ads! Yeah. Ad time. Let's get these ads knocked out. I love Amazon's like some of the things they they finally started now like letting you know when stuff on your wish list is on sale. And there's this thing I've been looking for and it's usually at 150 bucks, which is why I haven't bought it because I'm trying to save up for it. And I just got a thing. There's a lightning deal on it and 36% of it's been claimed so far. The deal is $5 off. It's not a deal. Like that's that's not enough to sway me to buy this. Come on. Come on, Amazon, get your stuff together. That's ridiculous. That's what I think about that. Hooray. We got 10 seconds till ads are done officially. Four, three, two, one, and ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes for a bit. Uncle Face, no, don't fall asleep. It's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time, I'd probably have a ring. Uh, ooh, brochures. Your travel destination has IDs here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh, Uncle Fates, look at this. There's a couple of maps here. Seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Should we take this for sure about a cave too? It looks like it's they're stalactites. Nah, leave it. Uh, yeah, that's fair. No one shares my fondness for caves. Trash can. Something's always hidden in the trash can. Let's check here. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, uh, I thought there was going to be something there. Uncle Face, are you sad there is nothing in the trash bin? No, 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 I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash can bin we find. Y you really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay, these trash bins are hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Uncle Face, this foreshadowing, I know, I can't wait. Uncle Face, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. <sighs> I'm unconventional. I'm not normal. <laughs> Wait, was that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, compliment? Uh, let's see. I think I clicked on everything except for this back door. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going to, into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library, he locked his door on his way back. There's got to be a reason why he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I do believe we should. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Hey, did you bring any meat for me to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You you actually try to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef and a ketchup. Stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? Uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Uh, let's start the interrogation. So the two of uh, 
So the two of you don't believe us. Uh, it's not that I don't trust either of you, but I, or take it to tail. That voice is actually hurting me a little bit. <laughs> it's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining, examining the validity of your alibis. Uncle Face and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles and if Espio was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to uh, present evidence of need. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? Uh, I wasn't entertaining enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured to go check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered from Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you would. Or I'm sorry, dang it. You said the that you immediately started reading. But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? No, uh, of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? SPO doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what the book might be. Uncle Face, could you help me out? Uh, what do we think he was reading? I think he was reading the manual. A manual? You think SPO is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? I oh got I gotta think. I gotta think. Oh, this is this is a wider. Whoop. That was clearly a mistake. Woo! Whoa! What was that? The Necroma, uh, Necromacan, ah, I can't even say it. The Necronomicon? Necronomicon. Ne Tail, these are books scattered on the floor, sure, sure. But the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order, except this, this manual. Meaning someone at the very least picked up the manual and put it back in an incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I want you to have insult my palate. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. Butcher and a poet friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Dreams are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, Uncle Face, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip the page and ask away. I uh, see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove you read it. I will. Stone cheese. Mm. Water. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Which page should I quiz him on? Let's do page 362. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist cleaning, keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tests and are responsible for cleaning up trash and uh, messes afterwards. Okay, all right. Eggman is disguised as the conductor. And his arms are on the train messing with evidence and they knocked out Sonic. Uh, let's see here. Do I have a feeling the train company? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I skipped a, a line. He, he's my character's remembering that the arms can clean things up and uh, 
Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Which is why they have the arms. The robotic arms uh, the robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question, Uncle Face. Hit him with another one. Alright, let's do page 89. Get the hot sauce is a momentous occasion. Why? Why do I gotta, why do I gotta drink hot sauce, Tibble? It's we're just playing a, a game. We're just we're just playing. It wouldn't be a Sonic game without Dr. Eggman. I pff, listen, listen here. Do you want me to have some bacon? Is that is that what this is that what you want, Tibble? You want some bacon? Eh? You want me to have some bacon? I don't have a spoon. I don't have a spoon, Tibble. Ah! It's actually really good hot sauce. Ah, it's hot. Oh, my tolerance is gone. Ooh. Mm, my tolerance is gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh no, it's all awful. Uh, oh, it's so hot. There. It's worse. It's worse than I remember. It's the least. Oh, the other ones. Nah. Okay. No. That was um. That's unfortunate. <laughs> all right. Let's get back to it. Yeah. It is good hot sauce, though. It'd be good on some chicken nugs. Ooh, actually, I have some um, chicken, like um, chicken patties in, uh, in the fridge. I can put some of that hot sauce on there. That'd be really good. Anyway, what is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and if you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> Last one, Uncle Face. Let's see if SBO can get three for three. Gotcha, which page should I pick last? 402. What was the implement what was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease the uh, general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train is an autopilot, but it can't be it can't access the full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Totally. That's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't, I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too speci specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we uh, want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. You answered all my questions so calmly, that's impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector, that was the only one to see me r uh, reading after all. My alibi is hard to su uh, substantiate. I have two college degrees. Two. Two. Associates and a Bachelor of Arts. Lord, my alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can. SPO. Is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Uncle Face? It always puts me on the spot. Alright, uh, think. What should we. Uh, what should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw, saw SPO reading, but what? Uh, Shadow's Lock. 
please pray tell what this has to do with anything we're up uncle face let's get our argument together all right time to think Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. thought thanks to my phone shadow walked uh shadow walked through the library car to get the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine yeah but i ended up beating it it wasn't the high score long crocs are natural gamers i don't feel like that's an accurate statement spo said he saw shadow uh, um excuse me spo said he saw shadow enter through the library car but he mentioned nothing about shadow's return he only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was seated, reading his book for a good while at the spot. Point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just... Fully immersed in my book that I didn't know a shadow. You're, t you're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... You see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. Sorry about your small wiener. So if you... Sorry, there's a car going by. I figured it got picked up on the mic. It might not have. And I might just sound insane. Uh, so if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, you were really in, you were, wait, at the moment you were, uh, were you really in the library car at all? Oh, okay, I got it. But how would SPO leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw SPO in the saloon car. It's a mystery. It's a mystery, my dear Uncle Face. One that I would love for SPO to solve. You gotta believe me. That old demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't know Shadow passed back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SPO. If you were, weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I don't see it. Was SPO simply, simply reading or sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? I'm going to join Tails because in the beginning, the conductor asked SBO if he could climb on walls. So I think it has something to do with it. I'll let him continue the line of questioning in. Uncle Face, my favorite and beloved employees, please protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. What? Uh, Tails. We have a piece of evidence. Uh, we have a piece. Oh, it's this me. Gosh, good goodness. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow says associate lay it on me. What piece of evidence should Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen each other? Um, library map. All right, now let's get my thought in certain order. Yeah, he. Whoop. 
Oh, okay. I now see the problem. There has to do long hauls. I mean, we almost played that game. Tibble. I found a way to secure that wheel to my desk, by the way. Uh, so next week I may play some of the truck driving simulator game. Woo! The lawsuit, lawsuit should have been when the train sped up. You know how many people could have gotten hurt? I know, right? That, I still am wondering why that happened. Something seems off with that. The library map. Oh, oh, I see. see. See the exits? They're right across from one another in the straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't see one another. Looks like you have to point out exactly on the map what you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Uh... I'm going to say it had to be here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in that spot. That confirms it. Like this horrified Tails expression is hilarious to me. Uh, that confirms it. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen each other from that spot because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. Oh, why are we so tired? Shocked Tails, yeah. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologizing for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping uh, despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, seems like the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SPO. Give him heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A nerder is on the loose. While doors kept getting locked. Tick tock. Goes the clock. While our heroes are in the caboose. That is such a bad cove. Let me try that again. A murderer is on the loose while doors kept getting locked. Tick tock tock goes the clock. Tick tick tock goes the clock. Ah. While our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. Uh, we're really doing this. Come on, Uncle Face. Let's see what's next. Coming. You sure you don't want to stay here and look at all the great books a little longer? Yeah, mystery calls. Three out of ten. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> okay, the investigation continues. Well, look at this room. This is fun. Is the train playing? Wow, slots. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you, <laughs> Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering around. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk from a warm, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, my darling? This feels really weird to read out loud. And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Now, please don't let that, that be my legacy. Tails is right, folks. I've uh, brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Please? Alright. I've been hunting for a tre treasure rumored to be uh, stored here on the train. Treasure? It certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of the fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. 
Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a Fabergé shell egg. It's so dumb. <laughs> wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you've accepted Amy's birthday. He's talking about kidneys because he shakes the screen tilts and dazed. Oh my. <laughs> We're gonna break his legs. <laughs> Alright, Rouge, let's break your legs. Hey, Joe! How's it going, man? A woman could have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. Why does she have no pupils? She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train for car for clues. Tybalt is still all about the kidneys. Tybalt is about kidneys and meth, which is an unfortunate mixture of things. <laughs> I deduced the... Uh, I deduced that a Fabergé chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And, uh, what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. It's the score of a lifetime. 23401. I wonder what that means in Sonic lore. I'm okay. Coffee will help eventually. Totally fair, Joe. Totally fair. Coffee does sound nice right now. Ugh. Uh, 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 fine. Just keep your sweetheart. I don't like reading Rouge's lines. It's weird. Ah, uh, there's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? I want i hope those are all chow inside the, the claw machine the elevator behind the security guard uh leads us right to the room holding the fabergé egg but we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card okay all right all right all right all right okay all right i have a question how is there an elevator on a one-story train It doesn't make sense. We need a plan to get the car to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help every time I put him in trouble with the dots. I mean, if you put the dots projector down and you you call the ghost, yes. Pretty swanky train it is. Isn't that egg train property? I would think so. Makes sense to me. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Please, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Uh, her lure card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be a refreshing for a princess. Uncle Face, do you have an opinion on this? Also, Joe, welcome to uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm a random NPC, or I guess I'm not a, technically an NPC. I'm a random character in this visual novel. Uncle Face, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. It's time for our five finger discount. I am going to go with the latter. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Uncle Face are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> That's a ticket. Happy to have both of you on the team. Now we must plan. Oh my, oh my gosh. Is this, there's a freaking heist? Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> access to the Fabergé Chow Egg is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has, ac the, has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, or distract the guard? Okay, guys. Chat. We're gonna, uh, I, for, I want to see a vote in the chat. Whatever we get the most of wins. You just got to type into the chat what, what you want. Attack, bribe, or distract. Whatever has the most votes, I will do. 
and we're gonna do that after the ad break because there's gonna be an ad break in 20 seconds. Distract seems more on it's brand. Fine, distract. Dude. Got to read between the lines. Okay. Then we will distract after the ad break. I'm gonna blow my nose while the ads play. Hooray! By the way, Joe, I think you are a, uh, yay. I think you're a, you're a subscriber. Um, well, I forget what I was going to say now. Oh, I fixed Tangia. Tangia is fixed. All that stuff works. Actually, let's double check it. Let's double check it right now. I got like half a second ad and then it flipped out. You know what? I'm fine with that. That's great. Uh, let's just try. Let's try Maxwell. We'll see if that that Tangio works properly. I can hear it. Hi Maxwell. If everything you're doing is bad, I want you to know this. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but now I can hear everything. All right, and ads are done now. So we got uh, distract. So let's just let's distract the guard. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Uncle face is everything. Uncle face, everything OK? I never seen you smile like that. It seems like they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? All right, chat. Uh, what? Which which one do we do? First what, first one I see in the chat is what we're going with. Tails, Blazer Rouge. You did this to yourself in the lightsaber combat. Okay. I can't bra it it's it's far too late for that. <laughs> All right. My in comedy instinct says tails. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going with. <laughs> I could be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that, Vito. I'm with Blaze. <laughs> His delivery was sh shaky. No 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 no. I could I could do it. I could do it. Sorry, buddy. I think you're uh, better el off elsewhere. Damn it. <laughs> In that case, uh, who should we choose? Okay. Oh, okay. Who's distracting the security guard? I love these drawings. That's ridiculous. All right. BTW, so do you go with goggles because it's functionality? Or because they have each other to coordinate like that all over the firehouse now? We're not even playing Ghostbusters, Tibble. We're playing Sonic. We're playing Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Come on. Get with the program. Your connection is slow. We'll make it fast. <laughs> um, let's blaze. Okay. Blaze it is. Think you can distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. That is a lot of pressure to put on yourself, Blaze. Great, great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push up in a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the child about, the, about their partner and kids. Uh, last one. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted. Oh, with the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Uh, grab them and fly up to the rafters. 
Ask for the car, pick the pocket. Po po we're gonna have her pick the pocket. I'll snatch the access card, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Uh, try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. Uh, no promises. Yeah, I mean, thief, yeah, right? Like, yeah. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Uncle Face, what's your plan? Uh, say there's a drink without a coaster. <laughs> Push the security guard over. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Okay. I, that, I, I, we could have bribed the guard with the lives of his family. I, that is dark stone. That's dark. I say we either do one or three. Whatever a chat says, the, uh, the most votes. Do we say there's a drink now? It is, but the longer cool down there is no building, only Z Yule. Okay, Timble. Um, either one or three in chat. Whatever I see the most of is what we'll go with. And this game, Joe, is called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog got murdered. It's a mystery, it's like a mystery train thing for Amy's birthday. She set up this whole thing, someone, random person got murdered. And so now, and that person happened to be Sonic. So now Tails is investigating. I'm a staff member on the train. It's my first day. And, um, uh, what was, what was the other thing? There's another part to this. Oh, and Amy, since it's our birthday, is a journalist. And in theory, both Amy and Tails can't be the murderer. Ran the second murderer. sister. What the hell are you talking about, Tim? Well, anyway, one, say there's a drink without a coaster. <laughs> Tail, absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll head to the elevator. And just like that, we all made it into the elevator. Inside we, oh my gosh. Sing victory acapella, pop some apple cider, celebratory dance. I think we need to sing victory acapella. Now that is a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't count for. I think the second sister comment was um, Star Wars from uh, the the um, the last not the last Jedi. Um, what is the name of that game? Fallen Order. My goodness. What do we do about the mechanical arms uh, attacking from the ceiling? Uh, high five each of them, have tails disable them, tie them in one big knot. We gotta high five them, clearly. The end of those arms are claws. I am not touching them. My high fives aren't given away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. Uh, I don't think I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. They all humor my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. Okay, so we're gonna tie them in a big knot. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Okay, fine. Break their uh, elbows? <laughs> Break their, break their claws? Tails will disable them. I should uh, be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while for the arms uh, and the arms are tightening the grip. Uh, cry and <laughs> hope they sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Uh, pretend there's nothing wrong. Uh, Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plate is perfect. What? Yeah, right, Joe. That's such a great quote. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up with that elevator. That's an interesting way to phrase that. <laughs> oh, they just skipped to the end. I thought we'd be able to see it. I knew the plane would go off without a hitch. Uh, yeah. was definitely rouge. Your green screen is being yeah, overrun screen, by bots. Uh, is being Bot in the room haunt and GGS. Bots in the room haunts and G. Ooh. What? 
I thought I thought that was Joe. Because Joe, you and Tibble's colors are the same on my screen. Your green screen is being overrun by bots. Bot in the room, huh? And GG's. What the hell? What are you talking about? Anyway. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our plan beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. It was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have some the safe codes right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fravage Chow Egg. <laughs> what could they possibly be storing on all these? Oh, that was Tails. It's decided the decided animating the plane was six, too expensive. Yeah, <laughs> they decided that that was too expensive. I get you. I can read. Please. Um, this is a casino car. I suppose that's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? You can find those laying around in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right. We gotta find a safe for the Fabergé egg ch chow egg inside. No question. This has gotta be the safe for the treasure. Enter in the code and the blueprints and find out, Rouge. Oh, on it. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow. It's here. Ha! I have it. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. Let's, you, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? Fine. It'd be a fake. Yeah, right. That. Um. The hell? Oh, finger. I thought you were just in. There's a portal in there somehow. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that simple. You got some something messed up going on. Um, uh, you truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? <laughs> Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. Yeah, he got flagged. <laughs> yeah, he did. No one knows the secret. Because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You you can you can open the egg. You sure can. And all you will have to bear witness to a secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. Maybe it's because you're on mobile stone. All you need to do is twist it. Uh oh, there's a twist sound. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> the music sped up. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> Rouge has no one ever lived to tell the egg's secret because the egg's a bomb. <laughs> I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all the hard work, Rouge. Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do we put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Oh my gosh. Um, let, let Rouge kiss the egg. <laughs> let, let Tails cool down its tails. Have Blaze set the egg in fire. Stomp on it. Rock the egg to sleep. Flip the egg upside down. Open it and see if there's wires to cut. Toss the egg in the elevator. Throw it in and lock the safe. Twist the egg again. Uh, tell the egg to stop. Stop. That that did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Back to the safe, right? That's the obvious answer. But I wanna I wanna like do some of these other ones. Rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is just crampy and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Smash the egg against the wall! Alright, here goes nothing. Rouge. Stalling harder than the one how made it backslash. Oh, we should probably think of a different plan. Uh, eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, Uncle Face? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? 
All right, let's just throw it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Oh, fine, it's going back in. Tails. The safe won't lock. The door's staying open. What? Hey, <laughs> close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons and dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Oh, wow. Open it up and see if there's any wires. What do you mean by this? You know, the red, blue wires. You got to cut one like in the movies. This isn't a movie, Uncle Face. This is real life. And he's got a good point. Um, I'm starting to think this game is not meant to be serious. Not even a little bit. I mean, it's a Sonic team on April Fool's Day. Like, no. Uh, let's let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of this bomb, Uncle Face. That's our goal. Listen, listen, I get that. But what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Uncle Face, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry. Uh, sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Yeah, it like just got released, uh, Joe. Okay, uh, what if fission and extremely accurate technology was installed to ke uh, assist keeping the egg or the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the event, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes. They can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. All right. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a Fabergé Chow egg, the arms would have detected it and would have allowed it on. The only other people who knows uh, the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he sure, surely wouldn't have allowed such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it opened, it's hollow, it's not a bomb at all. I still think it's a bomb. Nope. <laughs> you both really were onto something. Whew. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch is right, Damn. thankfully. Tybalt is a not fun bug. Eee! And then look what's inside. Wow, look at that sparkle. It's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow's uh, egg secret. I wonder if that's why... I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get uh, out of here before we spot it. Good call. Let's go. No one seems to, su to suspect anything, and a security guard is back at their post. Hopefully they hope they subdued the drink coaster for fiend. Okay. <laughs> Thank you both for your assistance. This hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was st strangely fun. <gasps> Octopus. But I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge. She's completely absorbed in the bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Uh, now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, why I appreciate your assistance, as I said. Finders keepers. I need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasure. But I promise to take, uh, to let you take a peek later. Ah! Tired. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's uh, more powerful than me. It's a weird sentence. Well, we'll get out of the way for now then. We have a murder mystery to we have a murder mystery to attend to. 
before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of uh, people mention you, Rouge. We also have just had as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Uncle Face. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. All right, guys. So here's what I'm thinking. I think I know we're probably I'm going to say, well, OK, there's two more train cars to go. Um, do we and I still don't already see you. Do you want to continue to play this game or do we switch and do I try crab champions? Because I've been waiting for that game for years. Uh, and I'm fine trying it on my own later, but would you guys rather continue this or see what that game is about? I wait for your responses in the chat. <sighs> Sorry, got to the end of the water there. Man, that would bother me more. Know that it's been a very different ending to Afterlife if the mini puffs pulled the right thing. Crabs. All right, I got one vote for crabs. Joe, do you agree with crabs? Which is a weird sentence. I'm assuming I can just save. Yeah. Okay. Save. <laughs> Joe's gone. Oh yeah, crabs. Crabs are agreeable. Okay. Let's switch to crabs. All right. Let's quit. Exit. Okay. Now let's try opening this game. I'm going to have to open it and close it and then reopen it because uh, my routing software is annoying as hell. Okay. Uh, I need to open this window. This is a sequel to Crab Fighter. No, this is a completely different thing. Uh, believe it or not. So my understanding is that this is a one developer game. And he's been working on this forever. Um, put to desktop. Yep. Uh, and it just came out in beta today. My understanding is that he saw um, the. All right, is he gonna capture what the hell? He saw the rave crab meme years ago, and it was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, I, I should make a game out of that. And so he did. So let's, uh, let's now see if we can't. Whoops. I don't know what I'm moving. That's not good. Okay. Let's grab me. I'm just going to put me here and Tybalt, we will put. We'll put Tibble right here, kind of a, a which side he's, he's over here now. He's up here. OK. All right. So now let's see. You guys should be able to hear this game. So now let's let's see. Oh, right. I got to update the um, the game on Switch too. here. Here we go. Edit Steam info. Uh, let's see here. Let's rename this. Cab Champions. There we go. All right. That's been updated. It's a first person shooter with a crab. 
<laughs> All right, I don't know what any of this is. Er early access roadmap. We got new islands, enemies, loot. Oh, these are all upcoming updates. Get with the save. Crab raving intensifies. Yes. Uh, new total. Okay. Uh, and then, so there's, there, he's working on all kinds of stuff. All right. So I guess let's see um, what's going on here. Cosmetics totem. I only have the one outfit. Okay. Normal difficulty. Okay, I haven't. What's going on here? Movement training. Press jump again in air to dash. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Slide and jump to cover more distance. Oh my gosh. Melee the crystals. I don't know how to do that. It's F. Don't forget to use grenades. Your training is not complete. Okay. Whoa. All right. Let's, uh, whoops. Huh. Oh, these are the different types of weapons. Oh, all right. You need four keys to use this. Okay, I, so how do I... Join a multiplayer game, change difficulty. I'm already very ha glad we went crabs, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know crabs are this fast. Portal, new run, start a shiny new run. This will clear, okay. Let's, let's do it, oh. Defeat all the enemies. Oh! This is absurd. Do I, do I have to choose? Oh, no, I guess, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess I do choose. Uh, let's go to this portal. This is absurd. Mr. Crab sends his regards. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness. Yeah! It was a while before I go warp speed. I, I think it was, Joe. Let's see, chaotic grenade. Grenades deal more damage, but they move in random patterns. Increase damage increased for each equipped armor plate. Bigger boom. Let's go bigger boom. Oh, it costs health to open? Wow. Okay, let's go uh Uh, oh my gosh. That's a grenade crab. 
What? Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> How much was this? Uh, not even $9. It, it, it is cheap. It is an early access. That got hard fast. It did. It did. Now, I wonder if I choose my weapons out here. Uh, no, I have to unlock these. Getting flood vibes? Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting too. Uh, okay, so we're going to, the ads are going to start in any second. So we will wait to start again until after the ads play. Uh, and again, ads are just so that, uh, we don't get pre-roll ads when people come into the channel. Um, so we'll let those run and then, uh, we'll try this again. And as they do, I'm going to get spend my nerd points in uh, Star Wars. Okay, or we can just force it because it seems to be thinking about it, but not actually wanting to do it. There it goes. So do I have infinite grenades? Is that how that works? It's one of those roguelike games. Just this game is pretty can... boring. Hey, that is very rude, Tybalt. The game is not boring. It's one of those rogue like games. Just see how far you can get in an incriminately stronger age. I think that's the idea. The crave mind of crabs. <laughs> um, I think as what it is Joe. I actually been playing a roguelite game in my for VR um, called the compound and it's really fun. Uh, I think it's like a $20 game for the Oculus, but it's 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 been really fun to play so far. So I'm just getting my my points here real quick. Trying to unlock um, the Galactic Legend Kylo Ren. Um, like risk or risk of rain to. You've been uh, obsessed with Vampire Survivor, OK? I think I, I'm pretty sure I watched somebody play that game for a bit. Um, I like I've never been uh, much for the roguelite uh, style game, but that that compound game really got my attention. It's been a lot of fun. So, OK, now the ads are done. So let's get into trying this again Let's see if I can uh, get a little farther this time. All right, Island One. Whoa. Just, I love the walk. Uh, let's see here. Chaotic Grenade. FMJ damage increases to armored energies. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do this one. Just for fun. Oh, there is some something incoming here. Oh, look at that giant floating skull. That's not a concern. Oh boy, that's a problem. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Holy crap. That was so quick. Again, is there man? Like their stun game is like okay, five players. Wh what? Tybalt? The crab should not make you angry. They won't like you when you're crabby. Ha ha ha! Whoa! A crab jumped at me. 
Let's see, what do we got? Oh, I, I thought that was like, hey, you got two seconds left to pick this up. Need more crab puns? All oh, crab puns. Let's go. Why do these crabs explode with fireballs? Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Oh my god. Ow, what the heck? I have literally one HP left. Oh my god. That escalated so quickly. Tybalt, why are you sure? I don't know. It could have been. It may have just been like the challenge for that, that space too. Yeah, okay. That, that makes sense. Shots deal more damage for each shot fired until reloading. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of nice. Let's go to Health Island. It is a par for fish. Oh boy. Oh wow, I can't believe that actually worked. Wow, I don't know how I survived that. Let's, let's get some health. Uh, let's, let's get some elemental. Whoa! Launcher crab? Whoa! Wow! I got him! Let's see what we got. Lightning, poison, random. Let's get some lightning. I'm gonna go for health because... Yeah, that was like a, basically a, a boss crab. Horde. Survive a horde of evidence. Oh my gosh. So I just need to survive 40 seconds. That's going to be a problem because I've already taken damage. Oh boy. What is this thing? What does this do? Oh boy. Oh, this is a pro Oh boy. Oh boy. I have always oh, survived. I felt the pinch there for a second. Can't believe you. I can't believe you've done this. I, I survived with a single HP. Wow. Come on, Tybalt. Step up your war crimes with Wawa Tybalt. I'll have you unalived so far. Y you okay, bud? You don't need to hype yourself up like that. That's a problem. That's not good. Oh, boy. Shop. Ooh, okay. 
don't think Wawa is going to be excited about you doing war crimes, but that's just me. Reroll totem. Yeah, I need some healing. So how many? Oh, I got 113. Okay, bronze heart. Okay, so that's what I already have. Armor plating. Knockback. Auto loader. Is there a... Uh, this is Tony's garden. What? I don't understand. Okay, so that's some health stuff there. No, absolutely not. I do not want to do that. Uh, I think I'm getting some armor. That's such a great. Uh. Oh yes, let's do that. That is. Oh, I don't have enough for it. All right, well, I picked what I picked. Homing thorns, and uh, enemies explode into cluster of homing thorns. Oh yeah, no, we're not doing that. Tony's huge, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is such a fun game. I can't believe it's not. It, it's it's it was on sale to begin with. That's insane to me. Oh boy, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh God, I'm having problems. Oh, that's a fire ant. Do we have played quite a bit? Oh, oh, I took a lot of damage. <laughs> I have one HP left. Oh, Lordy. Ah! I'm gone. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. Goodbye, Joe. I could remember you. It's a possibility. Yeah, this is definitely a roguelite uh, style, for sure. Where is the chest? There it is. If a crab opens a train station, is it called a crust station? I don't like that. <sighs> Give me the big grenade. Yeah, let's go through. The, let's go through the hard one right away. Let's just knock it out. Oh boy. It's already in bad enough that they're shooting explosives at and whatnot at me. Wow, all right. Big grenade. That's literally the same. Okay. Oh, okay, I, I get it. All right. Ooh, economy. Let's go. Matt takes physical damage. I take all kinds of damage. Physical, emotional. Oh boy. Whoa! Oh my gosh. That thing hurt. Oh my gosh, that thing hurts so bad.
I'm sorry, what? Oh, it's gone. Hey, yeah, he's a cooked crab. For sure. Wins zero. Sad. Mastery unlocked. Cosmetics unlocked. Weapons unlocked. Weapon mod unlocked. Wow. I've unlocked a lot of stuff for not doing a whole lot. Not gonna lie. I need four keys. Well, how do I get keys? Huh. I guess you get keys by actually surviving to the end. That's what I'm gonna go with. That's gonna be my big best guess. There we go. All right. Let's go with this one. Let's do ooh, speed. Let's try a speed upgrade. This seems like uh, maybe cool. Great, the skulls. I like how low the waters did sound, or the music's different underwater. There's no way I'm gonna survive. I have a single HP left. Oh my god! How? Wow! I, I genuinely am surprised and surprised. That ghost destroyed many of my traps. Uh, right. It is a cool effect. Uh oh. Man, these ants are evil. Wow. Let's see, poison shot, random shot. Let's go with poison. Health. Health is good. Ghost crabs. Horde. Oh, yeah. I'm going to survive the horde with one HP for sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. Yep, no hit run. Yeah, that did, that didn't happen. That did not work out. Oh boy. Okay. All right. I think we're gonna adjust our my uh, webcam to be what it normally is, even though my health bar is down there. I'm not sure how important it is, if you will, for you guys to see that, and I'd rather not have Tibble and I just kind of floating out in the middle of nowhere. Need to get good. Yes, yeah, seriously. No kidding. I've actually almost in um in Ghostbusters. I'm almost level 100 again. I'm I'm at level 90, so I'm actually close to redoing the uh, having to start over in that game from level one. 
prestige. That's the that's the word I was going I was trying to use. Yeah, all right, island one. Let's uh let's get some crystal though. Uh time shot, heavy shot. I have a ghost. That's great. I think you think I have an addiction? I just like that game, okay? I really like Ghostbusters. It's just a thing. I did try to play it this morning, but there weren't enough people online to, to do it. Yeah. Ooh, what's going on down there? Yeah, let's let's do the thing where I get more health. What is it? What are these for? Gold totem. Get a random legendary pickup, but lose 50% of your max health. Lose 10% of your health, but for a 25% chance to get a random pickup. Okay. I'm gonna get lightning shot. Uh, all right. Uh, how do I? Do I select it like that? I don't even know. Uh, it doesn't mean. I don't know. I don't know how it works yet. How dare you play something and you enjoy and have fun with it? I don't. Yeah, I'm a gamer, damn it. I'm supposed to be annoyed and pissed that the thing I like. I don't. I don't know. I'm supposed to love and be pissed off at the thing I enjoy. Like what? Whatever. I have fun. I'm having fun with this. I'm not good at this game at all, but I am having a blast with it. Outer skulls. My life is not doing too good. I have 18 health right now. Oh yeah, we want this one for sure. I don't even need to look at the other ones. Ward, what's this one? Flawless. Get an extra reward if you take no damage. We're, we're not going to try that. We're not going to go for that one. There's not a way. There's, there's no way in hell. I have to remember like I can do extra long jumps to get away from these guys. Hey, I survived. I didn't even get this far across the island. When playing this off stream, you have 10 hours of crab rape going to the back. Seriously. A hundred percent. I'm half tempted to put on my own music, um, but I don't. I mean, since it's the first day it's open, I like I want to give this music a shot first. You know what I mean? Fire rate increased. Grenades are larger. Slowly. Oh, yes. Okay. I didn't even realize that gravity was a thing. 
All right, so where's the exit? <laughs> it's hiding in the bush. All right, what do we get? What are we getting? Piercing shot. Just Why were the kidneys too much for this was a fun weekend. Okay. Get more max health from hearts. Ooh, interesting. I don't, I can't even afford that one actually. Bronze armor. Heal uh, when making purchases at shops. Well, I can already heal by going to the garden. Let's, go, let's just get that. Let's get that and call it a day. Hmm, do I want... Let's, let's go with Elemental. It would be funny if they made their own Crab Raid remix for this game. Right! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is a problem. I know this is cheese, but man, am I going to take advantage of the cheese? Got to pay the cheese tax. Oh, oh. How do I, how do I dodge it? I missed shot and missed. Well, whatever I'm doing, it is not working. Holy crap. Not Jesus. Strategy. Oh, come on. Woo! Missed. Ah! I have 10 health left. Chat, I don't think we're going to survive. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. One health left. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. This is the farthest I've ever been. Ooh. Green screen is a good feature of these ghost players who just detonate their own business and Matt is everywhere. Uh huh. Okay. One hit. Enemies can be lead and eliminated in one hit, but so can you. Well. So can I. So I think we can get over this one. Nope. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right, there's going to be another ad uh, in a minute or so. So I think I'm just going to um, let the ad. I'm going to push the ads now and then uh, I will continue on when they're done. Yeah. Oh, that was just a random crown. Was that crown on the ground? Yeah. Uh, when you load in, they kind of like fall from the sky into this giant bowl and sometimes they, they pop out. 
because I, I don't know why. I'm half tempted to try a multiplayer match just to see how bad that goes. I think that's this one. Yeah, let's. Uh, find game. OK, I think it's only local. Yeah, it's it's uh, I don't think it's actually like multiplayer yet. Oh my gosh. Wait, am I? When am I? Uh, uh... I think I'm on normal, right? I think that's what I was on. All right, here we go, chat. <laughs> yes, everyone go through the fire. Crab genocide. Yeah, jeez. That was uh, a lot of crab. Glue grenade. Gr gr grenades stick to enemies that deal more damage but have a delayed explosion. Interesting. I think I want that one. Uh, let's do ooh, challenge. Enemies spawn spike stakes when eliminated. Yeah, let's do that one. Streamlabs is on it. What? Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I have one health already. <laughs> okay. Again, again. Take that. All right. Heavy hitter wind up blind fire. Shots deal more damage, but spread it's heavenly. Ah, I don't like that. Uh, you know, what? I'm, I'm fine with this one. Uh, speed or mirror projectiles. Enemy fire projectiles back at you when hit. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that because this is, um, this is going to go bad for me anyway. So. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I survived that. A uh, chance to gain ammo. Oh, nice shooting, Dex. Dex. Ha! Thank you. <laughs> and I like your jokes, though, when I saw it. Destroying destructible rocks is a great chance to spawn loot. Ooh, I like that. And? Uh, chance to not use ammo when firing? What? I'm going to go with this one and then let's do this. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy. Oh, I'm dead. Man, it that it goes so quick. All right, I, chat. I think I think for the last half hour of the uh, game here, maybe we'll uh, set it to easy. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to easy mode because I'm pretty bad at this. Woo! I got attacked from behind. Spiral shot. Shots deal more damage, but move in spiral patterns? What does that mean? Oh yeah, look at that. It's just kind of like really wonky. A little wonky. Yes, let's do this one. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. Boy, there's gonna be a lot of damage. Whoo! Oh my gosh, you guys are awful at these puns. <laughs> Let's see, professional personal space max health increased. After every 10 close range of limit. Ooh, yes. I don't even want to look at the other ones. Uh. Let's see. X health increased every one. After every 10 one shot eliminations. Yeah. Mmm, Joe, I'll be, or Stone, I'll be as crap as I want. Ooh. I mean, it's just that it contains epic rarely, but it costs 30%. Yeah, no. Let's do this one. Oh, yeah. Matt, I am just looking through the window as a chair. I'm sorry, Tibble. That doesn't make any sense. Whoops, I definitely missed. Puns are hard. We have to claw for everyone. <sighs> That's rough. That's rough. Joe, I kept meaning to tell you, I had a dream this week. Uh, I think it was like Monday night um, that I came back to visit our old work to see how things were doing. And not only were things well, you guys had hired like 40 other people to work in that location as if like when I left up till now business had gotten so much better and we're more properly managed you had to hire so many more people because you needed so many people to run like all the equipment I just came in and I was like what the frick like what the hell was I doing so poorly that like now we need 50 more people like to to because we were have so much more successful at that place so I was just like I had it and then the next day I typed in my old pass my old user ID uh into my computer to log into my PC at work I was just like what the frick man uh let's see blind fire oh. I think let's just do that one 
Sprout shot, bigger. Uh, ooh, lucky chest. Work invades dreams is true. Yeah, I was just like, but it was just like the fact that I went back to that job in my head. It's been almost a year. It like towards the end of April, it'll be a year uh, since I started my new job. It's just so odd. Like, I'm pretty sure when I came to work for Canon and, uh, oh boy, and, uh, within like a month, I had forgotten my password information for, for Staples. And yet I still remember my login. Oh, okay. That's a lot of crabs. Um, uh, so I was just like, that's so weird. I want to kill this, but yeah, changing it, changing it to easy mode really, 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 really helps. Just going to put that out there. Driller. Destroying destructible rocks has a great chance to spawn loot. Yeah, let's do that. Chance to gain ammo when dealing damage. Chance to instantly reload. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. Uh, where is the spawn thing? Oh, Krilling Spree, son of a bitch. There was an interesting handicap. If they hide it in the bush, that's something they'll have to fix. Oh, first off, let's get some health. Oh. Yes. Yeah, okay, we can just buy all the things. Holy crap. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, come on. You stupid thing. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, spike chest. Uh... Damage chest. Uh, I don't want anything that costs health to open. There is only. Uh, there is no mad, only keyboard. Ow. That bull is still good even with just one of the UN, and also it was going to shoulder check with them. Sweet lord, that thing is firing so much. Uh, shoot. Hey, little crab. It's just a little. Oh, hey. Holy crap. Let's see, wind up, precision, May I don't care about melee. Shots deal more damage for each shot until reload. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm doing all right. You are re a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. <laughs> Hey, you guys are like digging at the bottom of the barrel for these. Oh, that's a that's a big angry looking crap. Oh boy. I do not know how to defend against that.
Like, what do, what do I do? Oh my lord. Wow. You gotta use grenades more that'll make you a lobster. You know, like for a moment, I, I assume or I feel like I'm getting actual advice. And then I realize I'm not. <laughs> you guys. You guys are killing me. Uh, let's see. Heal while dealing damage. Yes. Random chest. Health chest. Let's go there because I am running low on health. Oh, and it's horde mode. Oh, and it's 60 seconds. Oh, boy. Oh gosh. Twenty four seconds. The stream will go wrong. Yes, that's that's how this channel works, Tibble. Thank you for your positive influence here. I did it. Five, oh my gosh. Joe. Actually, you should use grenades more. They are infinite. Just not cool. Yeah, it's just I, I get distracted. I am trying to remember to use them. That don't be shellfish. Oh my gosh. Uh... Yeah, let's upgrade that to level two. Okay, so we actually are almost, we're almost, almost beating this one. All right, what we got? Uh, yeah, we want this. Uh. 49. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, maybe it does. Maybe I, I whatever I take with me. If I survive, I get to keep. All right. Well, let's find out. This is the boss. Oh, good. It's just, just a giant flaming skull. That's great. Lord, he coming. Woo! Oh! Ah! Am I really? That's <laughs> nice. Yeah, look at that, I am. <laughs> like, why am I fight fighting a giant skull? I don't know, but it's really cool looking. I'm really trying not to get too greedy. Oh, there we go. Holy crap.
Key. Nice. Bronze armor. Okay. Biome. Progress to the next biome. Okay. You did it. It calls for a celebration. Oh boy. Yep. What is happening? Just Ooh. saying. I like to hear yourself last week. Table. What are you talking about? Blind fire, time shots. I think. Yeah. Let's get damage. I'm gonna tell you guys for for the nine dollars. This is this is a fun game. This is a fun game to play. Well, there goes some somebody else with a small small little small little friend. Hey, all right. It is a very uh, nice game. Sonic Boom, reloading damage. Just in knockbacks. Oh, okay. Damage critical. Yeah, let's do this one. This is definitely something like I could easily see playing with like my either my own podcast or um like you know kind of like listening or right? like doing while I play something else or listen to something else keep pressing the wrong button Got him. It does. It moves really nice, by the way. Speed chest. Economy chest. Okay. Let's just see economy. Kind of chill, one might say. Mm -hmm. So you didn't misspell that is what you're telling me. Will it truly be the ghost just stop being aggressive? I don't know, Tibble. I don't have the answer to that. black card crystals in crystals when healing Ooh, that's nice but what is the shop prices are discounted uh, yeah. okay so now of course that I'm being successful I was gonna end the stream here but I I'm gonna see if maybe I can get to the end of this one and then can you save no you just it is really a roguelite Heal after eliminating enemies. Yes. Can't pick up. No more perk inventory slots available. Drop and salvage a mod to make space. Ooh, all right. Uh, I don't know. So, and these are all different. So.
Yeah, let's drop, let's drop that one. And we're gonna salvage that one. Ooh, all right. Uh, okay. Let's get some heals and then get a random pickup. Eh. Enemy spawn energy rings have been eliminated. Let's try this one. I, oh my gosh, Joe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I think I can fall off the edge. Oh boy. Why is there a pumpkin? Why is there a giant angry pumpkin? Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Oh god! Oh, I am definitely not recovering from that. Wow, they may krill you on this one. Yep, yep, they might. Tibbles the ghost sports bar. Just upgrade the turret. I need I need more health. I don't even have enough health to open that one. Wow. Boy, guys, I got a bad feeling about this one. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, they got me. Oh, man. I did. I was doing so much better. Did I not? Nothing's in luck. Oh, well, look at all those crowns. Gotta boil over you and say, Joe, I swear. <laughs> uh, okay, so. How do I unlock more stuff? I got one key, didn't I? Oh, here. Oh, that's right. I need the four keys in order to move on. All right, well. Eh. Chat, before the ad starts. Or you know what? I'll let the ad play, but then um, I'm going to end the stream. So you can watch the, the ads to help me get two cents if you want. But <laughs> you don't have to stick around. Uh, we will end the stream here. Um, what the hell is this called? Uh, that's right. It's just that's what I was going to play. So chat it's time to end the stream for the day i got some stuff i gotta get done uh before the wife gets home um it was lovely <laughs> that'll be your two cents ah joe thank you it was lovely to see all of you um it was it, i had a lot of fun today playing sonic i don't know if we'll continue that game or not on the channel um but Grab championships is really fun. It's really not that expensive. Um, and especially for one guy developing it, highly recommend. Um, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and I'll see you next week, chat. Goodbye.
Well I'm the one that stole your skin. I'm sorry, what? Tibbled, you can't be doing that kind of stuff, man. It's not okay. That's, that's rough. That's rough, Tibble. I think I'm just gonna end the stream. It's not worth keeping it on for just an ad. That's silly. Goodbye.